Hello my viewers, you're welcome to my channel once again. Today I'll be treating a topic that is so serious, that is decaying the society so deep. The society, the society's progress is carried on the woman's back. The woman is the future of the society. Brethren and sisters and the Lord, I'll be talking about something I went and stumbled upon on social on a social media platform today that made my heart to bleed. My heart is bleeding as I make this informative video to tell you <coughs> what I came across. Brethren and sisters in the Lord, I was uh, going through a media platform where women were asked to choose what God will do with them with faith with total faith and trust in god for what will happen to them this year you are asked to choose one of these three things to choose education wisdom or marriage brethren in the lord i was surprised to see that well over 90 percent of the ladies on that platform went for marriage they wanted marriage over wisdom over education education is not really my problem but they chose marriage over education you see let me tell you what is happening the thing about life is you always attract your kind your kind of person is what you will always attract there are no two ways about it pretend all you like let me give you a quick illustration you see men men of flesh men of lust they do whatever they want to do and they think, okay, they want to deceive God. What they will do is they will go and look for it. After spoiling all the girls they can spoil, they will go to the house of God thinking, okay, they will go and get a good girl, a God-fearing girl for themselves. Now when they go to the church to go and get such a girl for themselves, they think they are fooling God. They will go and get the same kind of girl that just left the club yesterday night and came to the church. This guy has a very, very good churchly, homely girl. Then you attract your type. Then you get married to each other under that falsehood, under that pretense. Both of you are people of the night, but you come to the house of the Lord to come and look for good people. You are looking for whom to deceive. Then you come and attract each other. So that is how it works. You see, women these days, women care more about how they look. That's why we have more makeup artists than God-fearing uh, mothers. Everybody is after makeup. You see women caring more about, uh, they think uh, men are only attracted to big bosom, big back. They, are, they always, the thing is you attract your type. Since you are always, you feel, okay, this is what will attract men to you. Then you, all, you always attract men who are only after those, your big bosom and big back and that is the only thing they will want from you as soon as they finish sucking the juice out of those things you think you, that is the only thing you have to offer then that is the only thing they will collect they will suck the juice and throw away the chaff no man men are very sensible when it comes to marriage a man can sleep with virtually everything on that skirt but when it comes to making a life choice a life partner picking a life partner men are very wise they know their life depends on the person they choose to live their the rest of their life with they know if they choose a woman that has no brains that is the same thing that will be put into their, their children their children are going to end up without brains too so men are more picky and more wise when it comes to making uh, life-changing decisions and the fact is for women to choose marriage over wisdom it already goes a long way to explain that she lacks wisdom automatically if you lack wisdom for you to choose marriage over wisdom what are you going into the marriage to do <laughs> i don't understand you're going into a marriage without wisdom if you choose marriage, let me tell you, and no matter what, a man, a real man, that is why I said you attract what you are. A real man will check your behavior. He will check your coordination. He will check your calculation. He will check your reservation, the way you carry, walk, and act, and present yourself. That is what a man looks. It's only a foolish man. Men are different, I know. Forgive me for saying, but it's only a foolish man that will choose beauty over intelligence and self-reservation. Beauty always fades. 
The fact is, most of these girls you see, the beauty you see these days are fake. We have most of these girls walking around a piece of artwork. They are just drawings. If you wash off those things, a grandmother can be uh, uh, made upon, you make over, whatever they call it, and you look at her as a 16-year-old girl. So most of these people, to me, beauty is vanity. Look at what will last for long and what will leave a lifelong impact on you and your children. Marrying the wrong woman could cut, can cut your life short by 20 years or even more. If you marry a stupid woman, how long are you going to keep enjoying the big bosom, the big back, and uh, whatever it is you think? Those are selfish, lustful, vanity thinking people. And I'm not against you, I'm just telling you, look at the society. Look at well over 90% of girls are choosing marriage over wisdom. What kind of society do you think? What generation are we breeding? Look at what we have these days. Slay queens. They are after, after selfies. They can go on without food just to buy selfies tea. The thing is all about beauty. They snap themselves, post themselves. That is what they do all day. Look at the decadence we are living in now as it is. The limbo. And look at what these uh, slay queens are going to breed for us in the next 20 years. 30 years. Imagine what the world would be. What we have these days are Yahoo boys, scammers all over the place. Scammers, scammer boys meet scammer girls. <laughs> I wonder what they'll give back to in the next 20 years. What will they come up with? So, uh, brethren, I implore you to please don't go after physical features of a woman. Go after what the woman has to offer. Beauty is not going to train your children. A big breast is not going to last forever. You're not going to, it doesn't, it doesn't nourish your body. It doesn't, the big backside is made for excretion. All these are things that are supposed to be added to a woman's beauty. They are supposed to be a side attraction. The main thing is the inside of the woman, what she carries in her brain. You don't get married to somebody because of how he looks. Are you going to? The looks won't last. The looks won't sustain the marriage. When the going gets tough, only the tough gets going. So learn to be wise when you choose a life partner. And I'm imploring the sisters and the ladies in the Lord. Please, a God-fearing man, a God-fearing woman. Let me tell you what happens if you choose marriage over wisdom. For you to choose, always preach choosing marriage. Marriage, you're always, it shows you're desperate. And once you're desperate... There is no way you can hide. A desperate person always shows. It's always like a signboard. It's written all over you. Because every man you come across, there's a way you cut across, even in your subconscious, the man is very much at the lot of a woman he wants to spend his life with. So once he sense any iota of desperateness in you, he will flee from you like the way the devil rebuked, uh, the way Jesus rebuked the devil and the devil flew, uh, fled away from him. That is how he's going to fly, a man is going to fly away once he sends any iota of desperateness to hook him up or tie him up. Men are not dumb. What we have these days are bimbos. Bimbos are beauty without brains. You don't eat beauty. What will keep the relationship going is the woman's brains. That desperateness... Is what kills the relationship even before it got started. We show a man you are desperate, you are willing to do anything he wants. And if you are willing to do anything he wants, it means you are, you are willing to take down your, part, your pants anytime the man wishes because he's promising you marriage. And once he's done taking that thing that you think is that thing that is going to hook him, what do you think he will do? He will flee. And that's how you go to the next person and he will do the same thing to you. And the thing will keep repeating itself over and over again. You keep walking, uh, circling around, going around in circles. You are going, you are moving, but you are moving in a circle. You are not changing anywhere. It's the same kind of men you keep attracting and you keep, you come back and, and start asking God, why me? What do you mean, why me? <laughs> Uh, now, let's say if it was really God that said choose wisdom, marriage, or education, you chose marriage and you're asking God, why me? Uh, no, no, no. Let's run. A God fearing woman will never ever do that. It's a God fearing woman will always read her Bible. A God fearing woman will not. It's fear that leads to desperation. Desperation leads to depression because if you don't get what you want out of desperateness you settle down for anything that comes at you anything that gets thrown at you like a dog you learn you, you settle for less 
nobody wants to be taken as an option in this journey and life jo- uh, this life journey of marriage so learn to be calculative prayerful and have faith believe and trust and hope for the best god always gives who believes and whoever believes in him the best god does not make you eat crumbs he doesn't make you he's not the god of pauper he's not the god of anything i see i think it's lack of imp- is impatience that makes you settle for less be prayerful worship god in truth and spirit what will make you be desperate about marriage the right man will come to you on a platter of gold begging you may god give us the his patience his tolerance and let his holy spirit come on us may we hunger thirst may he give us the urge and the cravings to always seek his wisdom his knowledge and understanding once you have god's wisdom and knowledge all these things will fall into place so please learn to study the word of god if you are not born again ask god to come into your life and take control and you'll be way over all this unnecessary desperate uh desperateness of getting married wanting this wanting that you learn to wait on god and God always gives you the best as it at its at his time and his time is the best he's the creator of time he's outside time so there is no rushing you don't give him an ultimatum giving God an ultimatum makes you to rush to do things your own way and once you take things into your hands you always do them the wrong way may God help us as I always say Asante Sana peace love and light mercy gracious see you some other time